guys, it's Jay Carnes, and in this video, I'm going to be working on an acrylic painting. It's a commission for an old friend of mine who goes by the name of PJ, who is a wonderful musician. You guys definitely have to check him out. I'm going to put a link up to his uh, YouTube channel so you guys can go do that. Uh, yeah. Let's get started. So, to begin the painting, I have to sketch out my subject, which in this case, it's his dog. It's just a sketch though, so it's going to be very loose, and instead of doing it with pencil, I'm doing it straight on the canvas with paint. And then comes the first layer of paint. This is usually known as blocking in. This is where you separate your light, middle, and dark tones. There's no details, nothing but shapes. Just laying down color. And once you have those down, you'll do a second layer of blocking, but getting a little more precise. Still no crazy details, just a bit more defined shapes. It's not detailed, it's not, you're not, you, you know, you don't want to skip to the very end where like, okay, this is what hair looks like and this is, no, you just take it step by step. You got to work in layers. The great thing about acrylic paint is that it dries fast. So working in layers is super easy, and that's exactly what this is, just working in layers. First the dark layer, then it gets a little lighter, and a little lighter, and a little lighter. If you go too light, you can always just wait till it dries, and you can go back over it. Same thing, if you get too dark, wait till it dries, work over it. To get the subtle look of the inside of the ear, I had to work wet on wet, which means I had to keep layering the paint before it dried so I can get that nice soft blend and make it look like it's kind of like faded in the background. The trick with hair is that it flows in different directions. So you want to make sure that you do that or else it'll look flat. You also don't want to paint in every single individual strand of hair. I used a variety of brushes to get some depth in the hair, as well as letting the colors play with each other. The lighter colors will stand out while the darker colors will fall back. And of course the shades in between do the same. The lighter shade will stand out more than the darker shade but it's not going to stand out more than the lightest color. Does that make sense? I'm going to be using quite a few brushes. Uh, and as for the colors, I'm using raw sienna, burnt umber, burnt sienna, alizarin crimson, titanium white, ivory black, and yellow ochre. And of course, all of the materials I am using to make this painting will be listed in the description below. For those of you that are interested, please make sure you check those out. All right, the painting's coming along pretty well. The only thing is that the background's a little messy right now. It's, it's starting to get distracting. So it's time to clean it up a bit. He wants to keep the background white. So I'll do a thin layer of white for now. And then I'll add in the finishing touches later. <laughs> There we go, that's a bit more clean. And now it's time to get a little more detailed. I'm gonna be pulling out the small brushes here in order to get those tiny hairs and to add in all those highlights I talked about earlier 
to make it look like individual strands and make the painting really pop. Thank you guys for watching my video. I really appreciate it. I think it came out awesome. I had a lot of fun. If you guys did too, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the bell for future notifications. Go check out PG's channel. His music is awesome. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.